tonight, National Guard troops have been activated in Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Ohio as state capitals across the country are beefing up their security following an FBI warning of possible armed protests leading up to the inauguration. We get more now from CBS's Mark Strassman. Intimidation by design. The Texas State Capitol building today resembled an armed camp. <laughs> Workers in Madison, Wisconsin, boarded up ground floor windows of the state legislature. It is not safe for members of the public to gather at the Capitol. In Washington state, skittish lawmakers moved online. Outside, a man carrying an AR-15 screamed at media members. We're done with them, we're done with you. This image, widely trafficked online, urges an armed march on all state capitals January 17th. The worry? Violence could be more widespread than battleground states in the crosshairs of protesters for weeks. And it goes beyond state capitals. It goes to government facilities, federal facilities, city halls across the country. Last month, several dozen protesters breached the Oregon State Capitol building, angry about COVID restrictions. Armed protesters invaded Michigan's legislature last May, now banned there, openly carrying weapons inside. But concealed carry is still allowed. Lawmakers everywhere have to adjust, like Georgia State Representative Karen Bennett. I'm being uh, mindful of my environment. I am looking around. I am avoiding being uh, alone. At 50 state capitals on high alert, no one wants to feel alone. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Atlanta.